What's up, and you're welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Ninjago magazine issue number 94. And this magazine does come with the Crystal King with his crystal sword, but this is not the strongest version of the Crystal King. This is a version which is exclusive to the magazines because it doesn't have him with his double arms or his long horns. His horns are a lot smaller with this figure, and yes, he does still have the Overlord facial expression in the underneath side. Uh, and he doesn't have all four of his arms, so it is the exclusive version of this figure, and it, his armor does follow nicely down, flipping him into, like, the dragon mode, or the oni mode. I think it looks a lot cooler with a mask. He has his little horns and the sword with the pink crystal bits uh, flowing through it. Honestly, a really cool figure. I like the gold arms. I like the armor design with the leg printing. No side leg printing on our or arm printing, but we have nice back printing with the gold that follows through. A little bit of pink showing here and then. A, lo a little bit of purple to show royalty and sort of him being one of the stronger characters. Right, that's it from the figure. I think he's a really cool figure, and it's cool that a figure that comes in only one of the most expensive sets can be found as like a cheaper version. Uh, as a magazine. So we have the Overlord back again. We have the ads, what's in the magazine, the Overlord masks, which look pretty cool with the green and the yellow and the red about the Overlord or the Crystal King, whichever one you want to call him. Going across to some good times and bad times about the f element power of fire, where he loses it, and the Ninja Photo fake. I don't know why Jay has a drill head. Or Kai's googly eye, but oh well. We also have an ad for Lego City. Wu wearing the dragon golden armor. The golden dragon armor, that is. And a maze to get to the teapot car. And now into the magazine. Whoa, this jungle is dense. I have to find my way out of here. Where even am I? I've completely lost my way. I hate this jungle. Every single creature here is really evil, to the core. And it's not just the creatures here, either. It's the plants. And they're no better. I thought escaping from the Crystal Temple and the clutches of the Council of the Crystal King would be tough. But this jungle takes things to a whole new level. I have to have... I have to head to higher ground and get a view of the entire landscape. Yeah, that might work. Let's go for it. This is light work for a ninja. Huh. I haven't made it very far. The crystal temple is just over there. All the venge stone that was brought there is slowly turning into crystal. I better stay on the move. The council of the crystal king has probably noticed my escape. I don't like what's brewing over there. With the help of the council... Harumi wants to awaken the Crystal King with the weapons of Spinjitsu. I wonder who it could be. And can I do anything to stop them on my own? Harumi told me she took out all my friends, but how could that be true? Did she destroy the entire monastery of Spinjitsu? That's unthinkable. Um, Harumi? What is it, Pytho? Have you arranged the weapons of Spinjitsu as planned? The power for the ritual room is now set up. We can begin. Yes, it's just that, um, Lloyd is gone. What? Oh. But he was just hanging from these chains. Where has he gone? Why were none of you here? Uh, we, uh, just spent a couple of minutes polishing up the weapons of Spinjitsu next door. So they looked the part for the ritual. Look how delightfully shiny they are. You idiots! Never let an injure out of your sight. Get him back here immediately. If we can bring him to join us, he could prove to be a valuable and powerful ally. Fine, Lloyd. Send out the crystal spiders. <laughs> At least now I know which direction I need to head in. One last jump and... Oh, no. You nasty beasts. I'm virtually immune to my own mental power. With all those Vengestone crystals on you. But you are small. And you are on your own. And you don't know Spinjitsu. <laughs> and now I better get out of here. 
We have Jay's Dragon Farm poster, which is really cool. Another maze. Uh, the Council of the Crystal King in a really nice art style. I really like that. It's like neon, but without the color. I quite like that. Uh, some more quests and missions. And back to the comic. Huh. Crystal Spider DW 2808 has located Lloyd. I just have to fly to the spider's location and I'll have Lloyd back in no time. Now that spider discovered me, the Council of the Crystal King will soon be hot on my heels. I better move quickly as possible. Oh no, another carnivorous plant. If I move very carefully, maybe it won't notice. <laughs> your attempt your attempt at escape ends here, Ninja. Well, that problem certainly proved itself quickly. <laughs> you really think that a lousy plant can hold me? Now it's time for you to take part in our ritual. Just be careful with what... Just be careful with... Just be careful with that thing. Handling a scythe of the quakes requires an utmost amount of skill. Oh, don't you worry. I'm sure I'll find ways of using it. I just need to take you to your place. Where your spinjitsu is useless. Up in the sky. You can't do anything against me. <laughs> Not like that. Whoa, that was close. That'll be a big fall. I'm scared. No, I'm angry. At Vangles. Anger, fear. So negative feelings. Ha! <laughs> This is where it ends, Fangles. Now I'm going to destroy... No, no, no. I have to pull myself together and leave my Oni form behind. This is exactly what Harumi wants. She wants to tempt me onto the side of evil. I only have one choice. Run away. The only question is where to. Hey, I know those legs. I don't believe it. It's Krabby. He knows his way around here. I bet he can lead me out of the jungle. Oh, no. Krabby, the evil has got to you too? Welcome back, Lloyd. There are no harder feelings about your unexpected little outing. After all, that fresh air, you're surely exhausted and ready for the ritual. We have the mechanic, Pythor, Mr. E, or Mr. F now. It's just all their backstories, some more information on some of the golden weapons and golden vehicles a little apartment building which then you have to go in to find Gamadon and the next issue which will have coal in it um, which is coming soon and some ninja postcards nasty greetings maximum power best villains and just one showing the sort of wave of ninjago sets so other than that this has been issue 92 for Lego Ninjago it's been going on for quite a while, and um, I'll have... Nope, issue 94, sorry. I'll have issue 95 up straight after this one. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.